We do have to talk about inflation. Uh, and it's not often you can celebrate economic history. But today is one of those days because given this morning's CPI, we are now looking at a real yield of roughly negative 6%, which is lower than we got in the 1970s. Does that tell you that we have a problem? Well, certainly we have a challenge right now. Inflation is high, higher. It's eye-popping, right? It, it catches people's attention and it hurts their pocketbooks. The issue, though, is that we still have COVID. And COVID's still an issue globally, and that's affecting supply chains. It's affecting uh, the ability to go out and buy services. It's affecting the ability to meet in person. Where this is my first in-person meeting, and that matters for inflation. It matters for jobs. And so this is a transitory period. That's what we believe. That's what I think when I look out at the data. But it's directly related to COVID. And as quicker we get through COVID, the better off we're going to be as an economy. You go out uh, and talk to people around your district, and you say transitory. What kind of look do they give you? Well, they ask me what it means. They actually don't have a, a, a hateful response or I don't believe your response. They say, well, what do you mean by that? And I think that's a great question. What do we mean by transitory? Really, what I mean is that not expected to persist at these same rates once COVID is behind us. And that's a very different answer than a number of months and things. I think the other thing that's really important is you have to recognize that even if it lasts only for a year, it's painful. It hurts, right? You pay more for fuel, more for food, more for your housing, rental or purchasing, and it hurts your pocketbook. And that's important for us all to recognize. It's a challenging time. It's a difficult time. With real yields at about negative 6%, you're still really stimulating the economy. Financial conditions get looser all the time. Uh, does this change your calculation for when you might have to raise rates? Well, I think right now it would be premature to start changing our calculations about raising rates. We're certainly data dependent, but really we're still focused on as COVID goes, so goes the economy. And the higher inflation readings certainly have my attention. I'm watching inflation expectations as well. That has my attention. But the other side of this is the number of missing jobs has my attention. The number of women home taking care of children has my attention. The number of people who were displaced and haven't come back, that has my attention. And ultimately, you know, we have a full employment and price stability mandate, and we're trying to balance those things and make sure that we have an economy that is self-sustaining once we get through COVID and really has the legs under it to, to deliver to Americans what they want, which is, you know, price stability, full employment, and the ability to participate in the economy.